What's going on guys? Josh here from Moment Productions and today I'm going to show you how to shoot a hyperlapse on a gimbal. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here we are starting off the hyperlapse. I want to get a shot of those cool those cool buildings back there. And uh, we are on a unicycle today. I don't know if you guys can see it. I gotta turn up the exposure here. We're on a unicycle here. And I'll tell you right now, this thing is gonna save my legs and it's gonna allow me to focus more on the shot. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually use combined gimbal modes. So I'm actually gonna be using the lock mode and I'm going to be engaging every now and then the full follow mode that way I can readjust my tilt and my pan without having to actually have the gimbal torque out that little trigger that's in the front of the Weeble Lab is actually gonna help me out with that type of movement and here we go really useful trick here is to stay consistent with your speed and try to go through many obstacles instead of around them because that's going to actually make for a much more immersive hyperlapse. So I'm just going at a very slow speed here. Here comes our first obstacle. Remember we're in lock mode so Pan is not going to be following us. So I'm going to get as close as I can to that obstacle and keep, mo and keep moving forward. I forgot, I can't really edit this video, so if I stumble a lot, uh, forgive me please. Because <laughs> I want this to be one continuous shot and I want you guys to hear me dictate this whole entire type of shot. So, the shot itself, because of the way the road is starting to curve, is not really centered, so I'm gonna engage the full follow mode. I'm gonna make sure that the gimbal is nice and straight, that way the gimbal won't twerk out on me. So, I'm gonna do it nice and straight there we go and then I'm gonna turn off full follow mode by releasing that trigger and I'm gonna keep going straight cool keep the buildings in focus we're gonna go through this bench area here I'm back in lock mode by the way gonna go through gonna go through awesome And you can see how lock mode is gonna actually help us out with keeping a consistent orientation with the camera. All right, getting as close to this obstacle as I can. Nice, the frame is still straight. Now, we're starting to lose the building a little bit, so in a moment I'm gonna turn on full follow and we're gonna tilt up very, very slowly, all right? Starting now, turning on full follow. We're gonna start tilting up, and as we pass the trees, we will reveal the buildings. Boom. Woo, it's getting tricky with the unicycle. Keep going, keep going. Nice, we're tilting up even a little bit more now. And there you go. There's our buildings. Oh, that was tough. That was really tough. Now for our next hyperlapse, as you can see, the trail here is very curvy. Um, but the downside to this area is that there's not a lot of moving parts here, so it's gonna be hard to see a lot of things sped up. I mean, we do have a little bit of clouds but we probably won't see them move too much because this is only going to be maybe like a two minute uh, shot and then we're going to speed it up as much as we can. We might see some cars in the background though, but just for the sake of this video, I just want to show you how to properly shoot a hyperlapse when we're in curvy areas like this that involve a lot of turns. So we're actually going to not use lock mode this time. We're going to keep the gimbal in pan follow mode. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. For our gimbal settings, we want to go into our phone access the uh, advanced settings 
And actually we're gonna increase the dead band on the pan, all right? We're gonna increase it pretty high up just so we don't see a lot of joltiness or uh, abrupt movements in our pan. So we want it to be as smooth as possible. So let's give it a shot. Remember, nice and slow. Again, I'm on the unicycle again for this one. So for such a short hyperlapse, you might even want to do this by foot. We're going to have a lot of turns here. So I'm going to keep the gimbal in pan follow mode. I'm using this little walkway here as my center mark. So I want to constantly look at that for framing purposes to help me out with keeping everything in the center. All right, here comes our first turn. Very smooth, nice and slow and consistent with our turns. It's tough, especially on a unicycle, but for those of you who like walking more, definitely try that out. Here we go. Hold the gimbal with two hands. I'm using the Weeble Lab, so we have multiple options when using this gimbal. We can either mount it up on the top handle or just use it as a traditional gimbal. Here comes our next turn. Very smooth and consistent here. All right, here comes another turn. This one's very sharp, very smooth. You kind of want to keep going straight on the turn until there's nowhere else to go. Very soft on these turns here, guys. Very, very soft. And smooth. I feel like I'm talking about Nutella. Oh man, Nutella's so good. All right, here comes another turn. Nice and smooth, guys. I wish we had more clouds today. That would make for a nicer hyperlapse but it's all right here comes another turn very nice this is a nice wide turn which is what we like increasing that dead band helped out a lot and dead band is basically the uh, degree of turn we need to physically turn the gimbal until the motors kick in. And there we go, here comes the end of the path. One last turn. Very smooth pans here, guys. And a straightaway. Consistent speed too is also very important. And just like that, guys, we're all done. Please give this video a big like and subscribe with those notifications turned on, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.